Hey guys, join us for our next intake on June the 8th for our amazing 12-week cannabis and hemp course. Our course covers growing cannabis, medical cannabis, the whole supply chain of the cannabis industry, as well as sustainability and wellness, and also includes a four-week internship at a cannabis company. In 12 weeks, our students get exposed to 35 lecturers and three industry excursions, ensuring that they can build a network to help them enter the industry. Our students spend Fridays out at the beautiful jazz farm in our grow tunnel and permaculture areas, and our campus has a state-of-the-art indoor grow facility. There is nothing like this course anywhere on the planet, guys. So enroll now to join an industry of passion and purpose. Hey, stop scrolling! If you are looking for the best coffee and hot chocolate to wow your palate, here you go. Calibo has the most delicious coffee from the mountain top of Haiti to your cup. Our most popular bag is our medium roast. It's a smooth coffee, it's simply delicious. Our dark coat is bold, not bitter, and makes the perfect cup. We have anything from ground beans and even cake up and cold brew on our website. And now we have Haitian hot chocolate with pure Haitian cacao also delivered to your door. We are Impact My Day Black on and Women's South Day and this coffee is the best coffee ever. So go on caribou.com, click the link below and grab your bag. We'll take you later. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Unapologetic Nomads YouTube channel. We are here in the province of Copperbelt in a town called the Wancha Zampa. Oh, right. And we're at the kitchen restaurant. <laughs> Beautiful people, so we are out here in Zambia. Y'all know who I am, the one and only Be Lucky currently in the building. And we also have the lovely wife who's currently in the building. Peace, love to everybody out there, all the beautiful people. I hope you're having a wonderful day. This is a uh, lovely day for us, and we're in the town of Luansha, uh, Zambia, which is near Ndola. And this, as well as Ndola, are mining towns. We're here finding out, and uh, it's very vibrant, though. The people out here are just busy doing their thing, you know, going to school, work, and uh, running their businesses. It's a lovely feel here. Yeah. Very nice town. Yeah. Let's go inside and take a look. We have a uh, waiter who works here. What's your name? Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Nice to meet you. All right. How long have you been here at the kitchen? Six months. Six months. All right. Excellent. <laughs> Look, you really enjoy it. <laughs> uh, this is the area. This is the kitchen where they put in the work and make things happen back here. Hi, mommy. How are you? Yes. Yeah, so it's the kitchen. I love this. They cook the outdoors. They have the grills and stoves and things out here. And this is where the magic happens, all the delicious foods. What is your name? Gertrude. Gertrude. Nice to meet you, Gertrude. Thank all right. You. Are you one of the chefs here? Yes. Excellent. All right. Everything smells great. Thank yes. You. We're about to order something. <laughs> Hi, guys. All right. Hey, what's your name? My name is Michelle. 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 Yes. Okay. Yes. 
So we're here with one of the owners of this lovely restaurant, The Kitchen. Uh, his name is Chanda, a.k.a. TC. And he and his wife, uh, Mwila, uh, put together this, uh, this wonderful establishment. How are you today, TC? I'm a good shit hot. Yes, it's a hot one, yeah. Mm, so, yes. But, um, so, how long have you had this restaurant? It's lovely. I love the color scheme, the decor, everything is beautiful. Well, we've um, been open since December, December 2019. Oh. So, I guess this December makes it three years. Wow. It looks brand new. It looks brand new. You know, we always try to change things around. I think it's a touch up here and there. Nice, nice. It's very vibrant. Um, I really like the menu. And um, so, what? Uh, how did this idea come about? You always wanted a restaurant, you and your wife. Um. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's a passion, and um, I worked restaurants for like six years when I was a really? baby. Yeah, different positions, wow. waiting tables, dish pit, wow. name it. <laughs> I yeah. Did it yeah. So yeah, I figured it's a, it's a pretty interesting uh, okay. industry. Yeah, it's lots of work, but there's a there's a certain satisfaction you get if you yeah. do it right. So uh, trying to set up our own brand, a Zambian brand, I guess, yeah. which yeah. we hope can compete with yeah. uh, foreign brands and. Yeah, it's a challenge. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we'll get there. It is the idea to incorporate um, a traditional and international cuisine. Yeah, I mean, definitely. Yeah, we're, we're trying to push Zambian, Zambian, Zambian food. food. Nice, yes, nice. Yes. We want Zambian food served in a proper environment. Nice. You know, give, show it a bit of respect. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, hey, that's good. Yeah. So you want to focus mostly on Zambian food because you do have very good cuisine. And I was still just sort of trying to find direction, you know, what works, what doesn't. Our burgers are pretty popular. Ah, yeah, I'm gonna try one today. So we might, we might do a breakaway burger brand. Okay. Yeah, which is just burgers. Yeah. That would be easier to do all over the place yeah. than an actual restaurant. Yeah. Have you seen, um, how is the, uh, has it been received? Do you see a lot of Zambians come in and support the establishment? Yeah, no, yeah, we definitely do get the support. And uh, I guess the limiting factor would be affordability. Yeah, we, yeah, we get, we get overwhelming support. And especially, like, the lunches are really busy, obviously, because ah. everyone's coming into Tsushima and whatnot. But yeah, but we get support. Um, there's no other restaurant really, mm. so that is also a factor. But at the end of the day, it's about people's ability to spend. Yeah. But we're, 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 our hope and our aim is to create a nice environment where people can come with their kids. The guy can bring his girl on a date. That sort of thing. And I see that you have more space upstairs, and it's very lovely. I love the way you guys uh, decorated this, this space. Do you have plans to expand and do some things upstairs? We're setting up a, a, like a bar brand. Just more easygoing places, you know, soft music, nice, nice environment. Just a more upmarket place to have a drink. So. Currently working on that. This is bigness upstairs, but we hope we'll be open by end of July. Yeah. So, so um, we talked to TC earlier, and here is his partner in the restaurant business. This lovely place, the kitchen here in Luansha, Zambia. Willa, how are you? I'm okay. How is you? I'm excellent. Excellent. Nice to meet you again. Nice to see you again as well. Yeah. Yes. So, how long have you guys been here in Luansha? Uh, I've been here for the past um, eleven years. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And I know um, you know this is a lovely restaurant. Congratulations on um, you know all the you know progress and everything you've been uh, getting. And I want to ask you, what are some of the um, your highlights as a restaurant owner 
And do you, you manage as well? Yes. Wow. What are some of your highlights? The good part is, I love cooking. I Ooh. love food. Food is what wow. I love doing. And um, the, the good, the other thing is, you know, it, it, it makes you proud and it makes you ha really happy when you yes. serve someone with good food, they eat it and then the next yes. minute they'll tell you that was really lovely food. Hey. And just seeing people sit here, use their computer, their laptops and work and have some tea and coffee in Wansha, I think it makes me proud. <laughs> it makes me really happy because we don't have any other restaurant that's as good as this one. Wow. Hey. <laughs> My opinion uh -huh. that um, I don't know if anyone else sells coffee in Wansha. We are oh. the only ones that have coffee. Really? We have coffee with tea, we have hot chocolate. There's so many things that will make you happy and the good highlight is it's 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 actually in the center of, of the town. Yes. And we've been doing great so far. Excellent, nice. excellent. So now I have to ask you about challenges because I you know being a business owner there are challenges. Definitely. What are some of the challenges as a restaurant? Watch it. Customers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely because um Luancho people um, are not really exposed, but tell you they're very good people. And if you give them good food, they'll definitely get in and buy. It. And you know what? But then the only problem we have right now is clientele. Oh, okay. The economy is not really doing well right now for everyone, wherever you go. I think I, I'm not an economist, obviously. I don't know. Back then in Russia, it was just bad. So it's just the clientele that we do not have. And I hope people will keep on supporting us. So that's one of the challenges that I have. And definitely, and which other one? Um, supplies. We don't have um, places where you can buy um, baking stuff from here, pastry stuff, baking stuff. Most of the stuff we have to buy from Kitwe or Mdola. Okay, I'm so bring it. I'm bringing it over here. here. Wow. Yeah. So hopefully maybe in a year, two years to come somebody can open up a place where we can buy all these things all the ingredients that we want to use from here mm. but otherwise yeah most of them those are the main challenges ah. we have. Mm. it's a business idea for anyone who's watching <laughs> by the way yeah. Here is the food. We got the wedges. As you can see, they're nice and golden and delicious looking. And we have the homemade bun. And this right here is the slaw burger. Yeah. I believe we all got the same thing. Mm hmm yeah. We did. Yes. Alright, look at that. Oh, that's lovely. That's <laughs> lovely. Cheese. Look at how the cheese there. is just falling off. The special sauce. Look at that onion. Oh, nice. <laughs> and thanks, boss. I'm gonna cut it. Big. <laughs> Maybe I should just spit it. <laughs> I'm almost. If not. Let me put it back. Grab the technical difficulties. Mm. Ooh, onion, yes. Alright, let me just. It didn't even cut. Did you cut the bottom? Yeah. I'm horrible at it. <laughs> All right. Mm. That's good. It actually has a healthy taste to it. Like it's light. It's not that heavy. Like taste where you feel like you're gonna have high blood pressure after. No. <laughs> it's light. It's good. Nice. The sauce right. and a fresh baked bun. This bun was baked here as well. It was made here. That's something. Wow. Mm. 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 Oh my god. Mm. This burger is so good. Mm. Mm. It's tasty. It's good. Mm. Mm. You can tell that the bread was probably buttered and it was lightly toasted as well. You get that light crunch and it goes all the way through to the onion and the sauce and the meat and the mmm mm. this is good yeah this is very good nice mm. thumbs up all right family 
So as y'all know, I'm a burgerologist. Um, I've got my burgerology degree <laughs> from traveling the world, eating burgers and things like that. Um, now this is the slaw burger. We all got the same burger and things. I look for certain things that a lot of people don't look at, like the circumference from the meat to the bun. Pause. Yeah. And now this bun and to the meat ratio is not too bad, family. It's not bad. This is actually good. It's not extremely small. And also, the burger has a less chance of falling out when it's like this. So this is actually close to perfect, family. Yeah. If not, yeah. It's nice and soft. The buns are just extremely soft. It's like playing with Play-Doh when you were like young in kindergarten or something. They're real soft, but then it got a little crunch to it. Yeah. And as you can see, the meat, it has like, looks like it's like seasonings and different things of, of that sort of a nature in there. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to try my first bite. That's good. The slaw has a real good flavor to it. The, the meat is not hard. It's not dry. It's real good. Um, let me wipe my face, family. The meat is nice and juicy. It's not dry. The buns are the hero. And the slaw, everything works good. This is actually a perfect burger, family. It tastes perfect. In the hands, as you grip it, it feels perfect, and um, it's perfect. The meat is not going to slide out. It's a good burger, man. I said it's a good burger. But um, I almost need one of these to go. This girl yeah. is off the chain. You hear me? Um, we make coleslaw a lot in this um, in the south where I'm from in the U.S. And the way they added this, it's a special sauce. It's coleslaw, onions, the meat is well done, but it's still juicy. This is an amazing burger, for yeah. real. Um, let me see, if I had to compare it to my favorite burger, ooh, oh my goodness. Uh, I guess Burger King, but Burger King has nothing on this burger. No. Burger, no. burger no. King has nothing on this burger. This burger is all, all changed, you hear me? Yeah. This is good. Now, I'm not trying to juice it up just because we're here. This burger is really good. Yeah. I can see why he said uh, they're the, the biggest sellers of the burgers. This is fantastic. Yeah. I give it a 10. Yes. A 10. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, what do you rate this burger, Ella? Yeah. Because even the cheese, that cheese is good. Yeah, I forgot about the cheese. You don't have mercy. You can taste everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get this a strong. Nine point nine eight seven six. No, this is good. Even the potato. Now these are good. Potato it's hard to get these good now, and these are even good. Mm, it has a good potato taste. It tastes like potatoes. Mmm, that's good. Nice. I'm not gonna lie. This is actually the best burger I've had in a long time, family. In a long time. I haven't had a burger this good in a long time, family. And that says a lot. As far as being outside outside of America, this is my number one burger. The kitchen. This is very good. Um, in America, I like Fat Burger in Vegas. That's my favorite burger spot. But this is definitely up there. It gives it a run for the money because of the buns, family. The bun really makes this burger. And then the circumference of the meat to the burger is very, it's, it's perfect because the burger's not going to fall out. It's not going to get too sloppy on you. And, and you still can have meat in every bite, family. Yeah. I, I said pause earlier, so, you know, just remember that. I definitely say this burger is so good that if you come to Africa, take a flight to Zambia, come to the Copper Belt, and make sure you check out the kitchen family. Make sure you check out the kitchen and just try this burger. Like, if you're a foodie like we are, this is worth the trip, family. I said, this is worth the trip. And uh, I have to say that, uh, you say you love cooking, and I have to say that that saw burger we had today yes. is from, from heaven. 
that was you. delicious. It Thank was you very, so very good. Thank you. And the baked bread, oh my goodness, it's, it's amazing. Um, I have to ask you, uh, are those your recipes? A lot of the, we saw a lot of uh, interesting things on the menu, like yeah, combinations. Most of them, most of them. Wow. Yeah, most of them are, are my recipes. They're my secret ingredients uh -oh, in there. Yeah. Definitely my cooks, my chefs, I've got their own way of doing things, but I've told them to add a little, a little bit of more of what oh, right. I love yeah. Indian food. And I had um, a privilege to go to India at one point when I took my sister for um, a medical... Uh, yeah. And then I ate um, um, a burger, uh -huh. but so much as a Kujan kind of burger. It's an Indian burger. It was so nice. And so those are, and, and those are the spices that I got and I asked somebody from there and they said, can I have those? And they say, yeah. uh -huh. Me two, three, and then I said, okay, then I know what I'm going to do. So those are my ingredients that I've put in those bags. Oh, yeah. all right. So we want to congratulate you again with your husband on this amazing feat, and um, we just wish you all the best and success with the restaurant. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Hope you come back again. Oh, Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs>